So hello everyone, this is Akshay and today we're going to cover the very standard topic or a very important topic in the graph playlist that is the breadth first search. It is also known as the level of the traversal and we have covered the same, the level of the traversal in the binary tree playlist, right? So it is just, so level of traversal or we can say BFS. So in this playlist we have co covered it for binary trees and here we will cover, we will cover it for a graph, right? So before stepping ahead, if you're on this channel, please like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the regular updates. So great. Let us start ahead now. So this is the graph given to you 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So what again you need to do is that the first node, the first node 0, you need to visit its neighbor and then its subsequent neighbors, right? So for 0, the neighbors are 1 and 2 and then you need to visit. So this 1 and 2 can be written either as 1, 2 or 2, 1. So the immediate neighbors of a particular node in a graph can be written in any order, right? So since we have visited 1 and 2, then for the if, uh, if there are any children for the one we will visit it if there are any neighbors and if and if it is not then we move ahead so we move ahead with the queue and we'll see move ahead with the two node and we'll see that there are two neighbors three and four and we'll visit it similarly for this graph as well let us suppose that we are starting from zero so what are the neighbors of zero one two and five so we have written in one two five you can write it five two one two one five in any order right it just consist consists of those immediate neighbors so let us since we have written one two five let us now visit the neighbor of this particular node that is the value of one so you can see that the only neighbor which is not visited till yet there are two neighbors you can see zero and three but zero is already visited right so we'll visit three and we will write it here then again we will visit we will process two and then we'll see what's the neighbor of two so zero and four are the neighbors but zero is already visited so we will mark four and then the last five right so this is the uh, level of traversal for this particular graph and similarly for 0, 1, 2, 3. Great. How we can code this? So the coding is exactly same as we have discussed in the binary level, uh, as, as we have discussed in the level of traversal in the binary tree. So this video must be popping up here now and you must see this video to get a good idea of how this particular thing works in a graph. So it is exactly the same. Nothing will be changed. Only the storing, the storing the neighbors would be changed. So let us see. So in this particular question that we that we will be doing this time in this particular question, this is the graph here, right? It's a directed graph. So I have drew, drawn it here. I have drawn it here. So let us see what are the parameters passed in this particular question. So we have we need to find the BFS of graph. The return type is average of integer. Definitely we need to return an array. Uh, which denotes the level of the traversal or the BFS for this particular graph. The two parameters are there. The first one is the int vertex. The second parameter is list of list. That is they have called ADJ. ADJ is a very standard term which stands for the adjacency list. Adjacency list is nothing but a 2D list array or let's say 2D matrix where the vertical columns store actual the vertex. We can see there are the vertices starting from 0 to 4. So that is why we will have a list uh, starting from the index 0 till 1, 2, 3 and 4 and in the horizontal, each and every index will have a horizontal list associated with it. That is why I am saying it's a 2D list, correct? So 0 will have neighbors 1, 2 and 3. 1 has, do not have any neighbors, so it's empty. 2 has a neighbor, that is 4, so I have written here. And 3 has no neighbors, so it's empty again, correct? So here to solve this question, we need two things, a queue and a visited array. Visited array will make sure that we do not visit the same node twice once we have visited it, right? So first of all, we need to push the root node or let's say the starting of the vertex, that is the zero. And we will mark this zero as true. So this is in the visited node, we will mark it as true. Then for the zeroth node, we will cover the its neighbors. And where we can get the neighbors from? We can get the neighbors from this 2D adjacency list. You just have to um, maybe write a for loop and you can traverse in this particular list. So you can see that the one, two and three are its neighbor, right? So we'll pull out we will remove the first in order and we'll pull the other, uh, we will uh, add the other neighbors. So it is one, two and three and similarly while we are adding, we'll, we'll keep on marking them as true. So two will be marked as true and three will be marked as true. Correct? Great. Okay, so what's the next step that we'll move again? We'll keep on removing the first element from the queue. That is the, the base condition will be that while queue is not empty. This is how we can write in Java, while queue is not empty, right? Okay, so we'll remove out the queue, if we will out the one from this and we'll see what are the neighbors of one. So there is no neighbor one, we'll keep ahead on while uh, in removing the first element. So we'll remove out the next element that is two and we can see that the neighbor of two is four. So we'll push it in the queue and we'll mark this four as true. Again, the next node that to be removed would be three and three has no neighbors and we'll keep, keep on proceeding ahead and four has no neighbor, we'll keep on proceeding ahead, right? So the, uh, the iteration, the iteration where we are actually moving the queues it's actually is our in order traversal right as you can see for this particular graph, particular graph the root node is uh, zero and then 
revisit its immediate neighbor that is one two and three you can mention it in any order and then we have this uh, we visit the first children uh, the first node there is no children and then for two we have four so we add it here and then for three there is no children so that's the answer for this particular graph i hope you are very clear at this point and as you can see this is the expected output for this particular graph as well let us see the second graph so it is 0 1 and 2 so starting from 0 the next neighbors will be 0 and the neighbors would be 1 and 2 and that's it that's our answer what would be the pseudo code for this particular approach okay so i hope you are very clear at this point that how we are doing a bfs a level order standard level order also in, the, in this particular graph let us move ahead with the code editor and regarding the pseudo code i request you to please watch my level of traversal video for the tree and you'll get the pseudo code it is the same standard code that we have to follow each and everywhere so let us start with the coding session in the meanwhile i highly encourage you guys to pause this video here and try to code this yourself okay so that's the code here let me give you a very quick code work in a deep analysis of the code so first we have made an array list why because the return type of this function was an array list of integers so this, this array list will actually contain the answer the traversal of our graph correct now we have made a queue and then a boolean visited array of uh, size v like the vertex size and then we have added the first node the first node was always zero here you can see that it has written the better so the starting from zero right so we have added the first node and marked the first node as true correct now we need to run a loop that is a while loop while queue is not empty till the queue is not empty we need to process it right so processing means we need to first uh, dequeue the first element of our from from our queue and add it into our answer an answer an answer is stored in, in our array list which is declared in the name of al then for this particular node what we did was that we treated in each and every neighbor that was stored in a 2d array list name as the adjacency list here adj so we had a for loop here that is for int neighbor and now what we are doing that we need to do iterate in the horizontal list right so that's the syntax here adj dot get of which index this current index right this zeroth uh, for the first iteration now if that particular neighbor is not visited then you do not need to do anything if that is visited sorry uh sorry yeah, i said it wrong so if it is not visited then you mark it mark it as visited and push it in the queue if it is visited then you not do, you need not do anything because that particular node is already inserted in your answer correct so if it is not visited we are marking it as true and pushing it in our queue and at the last we are returning that particular array so that is it let us compile and run while it's compiling and running what would be the time complexity let us move back to our open board again so if you see if you see that what are we actually visiting we are actually visiting this entire vertical row if you can say yep we are visiting this entire particular vertical uh, vertical row and for each and every vertical values or say vertex values we are visiting the horizontal list right so can we say it is v cross e no we cannot say v cross e right because this is this there's nothing but the e right the number of edges coming out from a particular vertex right for zero it's coming three vertex out so i can say there's a e equals to three correct but can i say v cross e no we cannot say v cross e even if you look at the code you will say that in the while loop is a nested for loop so it may looks like there's a v cross e but not we are visiting the node only once it is not visited right if it is already visited you're not visiting at nodes right so that means we are actually visiting v plus e right and not v cross e right for zero we are visiting one two three that's correct but let's say if three, if three neighbor was also two, then we, we would not have been visited here because two was already answered in the answer. Correct. I hope you got this point. How the diagrams are getting derived? What is the space complexity? So in the queue, in the queue, you can see what is the worst case that we are pushing. We will be pushing all in, each and every vertex in our queue. So it would be O of V. I hope that makes sense to you. And yes, the compilation has been passed successfully. Let us hit the summit button. We have analyzed the time complexity and the space complexity as well. So let us wait for this code to submit and we'll see the C++ code and we'll end this video. Great, all the test cases have been passed successfully. Let us see the C++ code now. Okay, so that is the C++ code. I don't think a walkthrough is required because it's the same thing. The syntax is different, but the same sequence is followed across the code that we have seen in Java, right? Let us hit the submit button for this code as well and then we'll end this video with a great note. Great. So we have completed how the BFS travels will work, what is the space complexity and the time complexity associated with it. So our next lecture or our, or our next video will be based on that what are the variations of BFS traversal, right? So like the questions based on it. So the first question you can may, may encounter is that to find the number of uh, connected components, right? In the graph and the second thing we will be discussing that what are the advantages what are the advantages of using bfs in the real life right so for first example let's uh like the gift that is the peer-to-peer -peer networking that happen in the torrent right 
So that's one of the application for the BFS that uh, it takes the algorithm help of BFS, right? Uh, in the torrent thing for peer-to-peer -peer networking. But there are many more. We will discuss it in the next video, not to keep the, keep this video very long. So yes, again, if you're new to this channel, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon get the regular updates. And we'll meet again in the next video with the next energy. So till then, keep learning, keep doing bye-bye, and take care, guys.